The Shenzhou 16 crew who starts their journey from here are responsible for the first manned space mission since China's space station entered long-term operation. They are the first to arrive at the space station this year and later this year there will be another Shenzhou crew heading to the space station. So twice every year, two Shenzhou crews to the space station, that's the plan. And here are all the Chinese taikonauts who've made it to space and made all of these possible in just 20 years. Here is Yang Liwei, who in 2003 became the first Chinese man in space. Make you the, the outer space peacefully and the benefit of humankind. And that's Jai Zhigang, who in 2008 became the first Chinese taikonaut to conduct a spacewalk. And the first female taikonaut is Liu Yang. She went to space in 2012. She stayed there for around two weeks. And the first spacewalk by a Chinese female taikonaut is conducted by none other than Wang Yaping. That was in 2021. A memory is still fresh for those of us who tracked how China's space station has come together. And we see Liu Yang again. She's part of the history-making Shenzhou 14 crew. Crew. It's the changeover between Shenzhou 14 and 15 crew that officially signal the start of long-term manned residency on China's space station. And by long-term, we're talking about 10 years or even more. This place is really important for Chinese taikonauts. You get the feeling that dream for space is really at the heart of their life on Earth as they live in a place called Quest for Space. And every time before launch, they are first here on the square called Dreams Come True. With so much live streaming and videos from the Taikonauts these days, we feel like we know them. But maybe we will never really understand what drove them to set those milestones one after another. And we may never really know what it feels like in space. So we talked to one former NASA astronaut to understand what lasting changes experience in space has on them. Almost everybody talks about how fragile our planet is mm -hmm. when they come back. Our thin atmosphere mm -hmm. and the effects of pollution, the effect of humans that you can see from space. That's one change. A another change for most uh, people who have flown to space is how you view your place mm -hmm. on planet Earth. Mm -hmm. So I used to tell people, I'm from Cleveland, and this is how I identified myself. Mm -hmm. Today, if you would ask me, where are you from? I say I'm, I'm from Earth, and it doesn't matter to me anymore what city, state, country, continent, language, religion, none of that matters. Like we're, we're all Earthlings here. Chinese taikonauts have said in space and on the ground that their space dream and the unending exploration is for the good of all humankind. And that's perhaps one thing we can understand about Chinese taikonauts.